big businesses, right? In fact, one, one gun store owner in Broken Arrow contacted us weeks ago to tell us business is really picking up. But as Fox 23's Brittany Jeffers found out, gun stores aren't the only local businesses getting prepared for open carry. As open carry gets closer, the gun sales are going up, but so are the questions that people have once they get inside. What gun is the best gun for me? What's the difference between a semi-automatic pistol and a revolver? From basic to complex. What caliber do I need to, to save myself? When can you use deadly force? Now is the time to ask. I want you to look through this notch. As people stare down the barrel of open carry. People aren't just asking, they're doing. Many gun shops around green country say more people are buying guns as the date gets closer. You know, maybe a 20, 30 percent increase in handgun sales. We have seen an increase in sales. Um, seems like folks are uh, making the decision that they are planning on open carrying. Something else that they're noticing is a difference in the size and the caliber of guns that people are choosing to buy. Take a look at this. This is a typical handgun that used to be a pretty popular model, but now people are opting for something like this. Now that open carry is going into effect, it's larger and it has a higher caliber. Pat Johnston fields questions every day. He's one of the owners of Broken Arrow Gun Shop and says most customers are trying to learn the ins and outs of the new law, but not all. That misconceptions out there that folks are thinking that they can go ahead and start carrying with no training and no certification whatsoever. And that's what worries him. Folks that are saying, well, I don't have a concealed carry permit, so I'll just go ahead and wait uh, until November 1st and then I'll open carry with no permit at all. The other round of questions from business owners around town grappling with how they will handle the new law. Some have already taken steps to keep firearms out. Others shooting down that idea. A no gun sign is just a great big giant flashing neon sign that says I'm an easy target. Eric at 2A Shooting Center has had these cards printed up. He respects businesses that have the option to choose, but he says they should think long and hard about it. Chris Schiller has. I have no reservations about it whatsoever. A camera system, an alarm system, all in place at his pharmacy. He says he's carrying, and so can his customers. If you're carrying, you know, concealed carry or, or open carry, you just have a peace of mind that you can protect yourself and protect your family. Not every business owner feels that way. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. In 10 years, crime hasn't been an issue at Cap's Barbershop, and Fred doesn't like the idea of guns now. Well, I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow guns coming in here. I don't want that. So are you That's gonna... definite. But he's still not ready to post a sign against it. It could hurt business, and he admits open carry might not be a problem. No, I'll just wait. I'll have to get there. I'll have to get there first and then uh, we'll make a decision. Whether they choose to carry open or concealed, gun owners are going to have to start paying attention to store business windows because even though the signs aren't there now, come November 1st, they might be. Time will tell. Reporting in Tulsa, Brittany Jeffers, Fox 23 News. Okay, so now any store has the right to restrict firearms. Banks and credit unions can decide whether or not to prohibit guns. Arvest Bank declined comment, but so far no signs have been posted at branches. Quick Trip says it will not post signs prohibiting firearms based on experience in other states that allow open carry. Walmart has the same policy as QT, but Woodland Hills Mall will post signs that say no firearms.